Welcome to the Adventure Creator. Let's create an adventure game with images, text, objects and code in just five minutes. Tap on the plus to start. You create the locations for your game here. Add images here, the location's name and detailed descriptions here. Tap on any of the compass points to add more locations. This adventure game has just two locations, but we can add more by just tapping on the compass points of any node. Tap on save at the top of the screen. For your saved game, you can add an image and you add the name of the game at the top here. In this section, you need to tell people the purpose of your game. What's the aim? What do they have to do? Tap on done when you've finished. You'll find your game in the game menu. Select it by tapping on it and tap on play. When the game opens, you'll see your instructions in the middle. You can tap on those to dismiss them. Your picture is displayed top left and you can tap on that to get it to zoom center screen. You'll see your location name. And if you want to see the full description that you typed in, you just tap on this eye top right hand corner and it'll be displayed. To go east, which is our next location, we can tap on this red E, so our exits are displayed in red. Let's tap on that, and now we've gone east, and we can go west again. You'll see your footsteps as you walk from location to location, or you can enter commands at the bottom here. I've just tapped on this, and I'll type, uh, sorry, type the word east, and it has the same effect. So, let's go back and add a few objects to our adventure. Tap on the home icon and quit playing your game. Tap on your game again and now we're going to select edit to carry on editing our game. Let's add some objects. So decide where you want to add those objects and double tap on that node. The node will focus and you double tap again and select edit. At the bottom where it says list of objects, tap on this and start to add your objects. I'm going to add two objects to our game, one to this location. I'm going to tap add and add the object name time machine. Note I don't put the time machine or a time machine, just time machine. And I'm going to tap on this little box here so that I can't pick the time machine up. Tap on done and there it is. Double tap on our other node. And now for the objects here, I'm going to add a map. I can give it weight if I want to by tapping in this box. I'm not going to do that for now. It's not really important and I can add a description. There you are. I saved a bit of time here and I'm going to leave this box with a tick in it so that the person playing the game can pick up the map. So now we've added two objects. Now let's add some code just to show how easy it is to this location. I'm going to tap on the C here code and I'm going to tap on each part of this code matrix to create my code. So I'm tapping on the word if get map and I'm going to create a message. Tap in this box. Not too imaginative but there we go. Tap on the tick and you'll see that your message is flashing. That's because you actually haven't tapped on this word code to enter it. And there it is. If get map, we get this message. Excellent. Let's just add some code at the top here for the whole game. And I'm going to create some code to actually win the game. If have map and if we're looking for the word use, there it is. Use time machine game win. Very simple game at the moment, but it'll do to illustrate the point. Tap on the word code. And by the way, if you want to view your code as you're creating it, just tap there at the bottom of this coding matrix where it says view code and your code is displayed in this section. Now we can actually play this game. Don't forget to tap save, tap done. Now we'll go in here and play our game. Let's try and get the time machine. Remember, we tick the box making it too heavy. That's right, you can't actually pick it up. Go east and now we'll get map and we should get a message as we do that. 
There we go. You'll see that you're carrying the map if you tap in your little inventory bag up here. There it is. You can examine it, use it, etc. if you put those properties into the game. But let's now go back here and use the time machine. And there we go. We can create an adventure in five and a half minutes. Now, create your own adventures with the Adventure Creator.